Hello, I am Vred from Fentanyl and you're watching Hardcore Sounds TV. All right, hello everyone. We are here in Bar Hemingway in Helsinki, Finland with the two guys from Fintroll. Hello, how's it going for you guys at the moment? Nervous. About today's gig? Yeah, there's so much to handle. About you? I'm more nervous about the flight tonight, actually, going to go to Austria, no, Switzerland, actually, during the night to play there tomorrow, so... No, uh, other than that, it's good. Some beer going down now, so it's okay. So, uh, today you will be playing a CD release show of your new album, Nifflewind, uh, in Nosturi. Uh, what kind of set list can we expect to hear? Are you going to play most of the new songs live today? Well, to quote the age-old saying, something old, something new, something... Well, everything borrowed and uh, then some black. You just released your new album, Nifelwind, uh, in Finland through Century Media. Uh, how was the recording process of the album? Was it somehow different from your previous experiences? Well, I think it was quite the same as the last one. Uh, I've only been on two Fendral albums now. It's quite comparable, but... Well, I think there was not that much sauna, actually, during this one as the last album. Well, it was stressful. We had too much we wanted to do in too little time. So, uh, you have been on all of the albums. Uh, did this one differ somehow from the previous ones? Yeah, well, each of the albums is a bit more ambitious. And uh, <laughs> even though we tend to set up the the goal somewhere, and uh, at each album it's much more harder and harder to to reach. Yet we somehow manage to climb to that goal. We have reached each other, but uh, it's more more and more difficult each album. So uh, your previous albums have been released through Spine Farm and now you signed with Century Media. Uh, how has the chemistry between the label been so far? Pretty well. I I don't have any kind of a complaints. They've actually pushed our album like uh, promotion-wise really much differently than Spine Farm did. While Spine Farm was more uh, concentrated on the marketing scene Finland, uh, Century Media seems to go more and more into European promotion and uh, time might tell how that will end up to be but uh, thus far I, I'm at, at least pretty much satisfied with Century Media So uh, if you compare the new material to your previous album uh, what are the main differences between these two? Well it's like um, well, you just knew it was like uh, when you first time wanted to prepare a good spaghetti and you check out all the recipes and you were like, okay, then two spoofs of that and a couple of stuff and blah, blah, blah. Well, the new album is like, yeah, I know this shit. And then some and uh, yeah, let's put that more. And uh, we were much more like uh, open hands. We know what we did and we basically just upgraded uh, the, the previous album, in my opinion. Some people might say we downgraded it, music-wise, songwriting-wise, but... Uh, That's their opinion. Yeah. So, uh, what can you say about the new songs? Uh, which are your personal favorite ones, uh, playing wisely? Which songs do you enjoy playing the most? We haven't played them... Okay, well, we have rehearsed them for a couple of times now. Yeah, we went to a gig we played last weekend in Israel, and, and now I have to say the video track we did, Soul Saga, and that's my favorite now for live, because it was, although it's been for one month out now, the video on YouTube and uh, MySpace video, still everybody knew the chorus. They were singing along like idiots. It was, everybody knew it, the the chorus and stuff like that and everybody was really really into that song so I'm really looking forward to see how the Finnish crowds react to it tonight so uh, you mentioned 
the site MySpace. So uh, what's your opinion about the sites such as Facebook or MySpace, those web communities? Well, I think now we have actually... It, it's a good channel of promotion. Especially, uh, I'll start speaking Swedish. What the fuck? Well, especially for those uh, smaller bands. You know, I, for example, one of my other bands has been really good to get out, like news and stuff like that. It's easy to use. I don't know. Can't really see any bad things with it. It's a good way, channel of promotion. So, what do you think about those sites? First of all, I suggest everybody to check out Chthonian, which is a really, really, really good band. <laughs> and, uh, otherwise, yeah, well, promotional-wise, yeah, the thing is that there's so much promotion you can do with those that it's, like, overwhelming, and everybody and their friends are, hey, my friend would like you to be a fan of beards. What the fuck? Yeah, sure, beards are cool. And uh, Mr. Something Something Koskina wants to be your friend. Yeah, sure. Like, yeah, that's that's a problem with like MySpace and Facebook. They're they're at first they are like really really good promotional and social networks, and then they then they end up to be like uh, anonymous mass grave. But uh, you, I think you gotta just try to make the best out of it. What do you guys think about the music service, the streaming service, Spotify? Have you checked it out yourself? I think it goes under the same flag as all those MySpace and uh, Torrent stuff. It's nah. I don't think we're gonna get anything. I have seen that our album is yeah. there on Spotify. I don't think we're gonna see. A penny of those money, like how much is like nine ninety or something a month? Yeah, yeah. I have, n- I can bet my ass on that. We're not gonna see a penny of that money. I think only only one that is getting money from it is the labels. Advertisers is, are are those who are getting money from Spotify. Spotify is a really really good invention, but then again, it's not an invention. If anybody remembers thing called. Uh, Oh, actually, I can't even remember the thing. Uh, audio something. The, one of those P, P2P programs, which were uh, was uh, before BitTorrent or Kaza or eDonkey or whatever, that basically was so like Napster kind of a stuff. It was legal, but bands didn't get anything out of it, and uh, the only only people who actually got up, got the money off from it was just the uh, the advertisers. So, have you seen the singles in your area right now? And by the way, here's the new Finch album. But those singles, oh my god, look at those tits. Like, what the fuck? And uh, those people are the ones are, who are making money out of it. I, I don't oppose Spotify. A- anyhow, I just actually got an invitation yesterday from my friend uh, for Spotify. And I, I really dug the idea of having, like, check out all the bands, like, just to check out all the bands. I buy albums if I like them. But uh, for a music junkie as I am, I really like to, like, it's like a kid in a candy store when you go to Spotify or, or if you would download any music. And uh, I, I really think that those advertisers are, are the people who are taking all the money and that's why something should have to, to be done with Spotify. E- either make it free for people and legalize downloading or streaming but get get rid of those fucking leeches who are taking all everybody's money thank you really much for the chat and good luck with your new album uh anything you want to say as a closer to your european fans the word is free come to the gigs buy t-shirts download albums thank you and good night all right thank you really much